guys what's going on best exercise for back width for latissimus dorsi you know for your lats um, once again continue the series based on uh, the EMG studies based on the most uh, fibrous re being recruited uh, highest EMG reading highest MVC all that bullshit right all that scientific jargon right number one the best of the best and it topped everything by far was pull-ups, right? Chins, pull-up variations, right? Every pull-up variation. It's funny, all the pull-up variations from the um, um, the best one to the worst one were all like significantly higher than all the machine exercises. In case you didn't know, guys, bodyweight exercises for some fucking reason recruit more muscle fibers uh, and um, and more modern, uh, more modern runs than um, free weight exercises. You know how free weights are, are better than machines and on and on? Well, body weight um, uh, movements are actually better than uh, free weights, which is shocking, but you know, that's what all the study shows so far. No wonder you could do fucking pull downs with like uh, fucking two, 250 pounds, but the average 180 pound guy can't even do 10 reps of his own body weight, the average, you know, average guy. So it explains a lot. So anyway, number one was the pull ups, right? By far. And as, if you want to know which of the pull up versions was the best one, it was behind the neck pull ups, right? That's the prison pull. I call it the prison pull-ups. That's what all my friends that got arrested, uh, I mean, that went in prison, uh, that's, that's all they did in there to, to make their bench stronger back in the days when, you know, they were allowed to have weights. But anyway, the prison pull-ups, behind-the-neck pull-ups, for some reason, um, what I mean for some reason, it's because it isolates your fucking lats, right? From the front, you tend to lean back and use more biceps, but when you're doing it behind the back, your biceps are, you know, actually in a weak mechanical position. That's why your lats have this high-ass, um, uh, activation rate but I don't consider a lot of people to do it same thing with behind the neck press even though it's the best shoulder exercise if you're not flexible enough you know just pick something else pick a close second but if you want the best of the best behind the neck pull ups right and I don't want to hear no oh it's you know it's fucking dangerous every exercise is dangerous to some bitch every exercise is dangerous if you do it uh, wrong so you gotta do it right and you gotta you know make sure you know it uh, it goes with your, with your mechanical structure if not skip it so behind the neck pull-ups guys it was up there the, after that it was a wide grip underhand pull-ups that was the the second highest as far as all the pull-up variations and the third one was the regular uh wide grip pull-up but um pull-ups 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 guys that's why all the best backs swear about chin-ups right all the best backs look at in fact look at gymnasts right they have the big ass biceps and, and nice back all they do is chins for you know for, you know for their back they don't do any pull down or rows i'm not saying don't do pull down and rows hell fucking no because I, I love those bitches but you know if you got to pick a go-to exercise for your lats it's the pull-ups you know and it's not surprising my uncle got a wide ass back i told you guys he used to do the overtraining thing he used to do pull-ups every fucking day same thing i used to do pull-ups every fucking day i had a pull-up ball when i was in alabama and i used to do pull-ups every fucking day and i got not the best back but i got a very wide back i be asking what do you do for your back i used to overtrain that shit on pull-ups you know uh i mean joel stubbs one of the widest backs in bodybuilding you know is a, is a pull-up fanatic you know he, he's, he says that's the, the, the number one exercise for us with for him uh the list goes on victor martinez one of the widest backs in bodybuilding swears by the chin up phil heath who his back was one of his weakest points despite his good genetics his back was one of his weakest points and he brought his last up doing pull-ups um was fucking chris jones man i remember chris jones, i remember i remember cj used to make uh he used to do pull-ups with fucking i think 45 pound plates and shit it's, it's just hard as fuck if you never try to try it's hard as fuck so everyone that has a wide back nine out of ten times has a foundation in pull-ups so there it is guys very simple nothing fancy nothing new do chin-ups i'm out of here also don't forget to like the video it gives me good feedback um, share the video it helps the channel grow and comment below ask me your questions let me know I, I read the comments and that's what I used to make the next video so for example this one I read that I read uh, this uh, uh, I made this video based on the comments I read on the previous video so your comments help me uh, decide uh, which video you want you want you know you want me to make next so comment don't be shy motherfuckers and I'm about to go hit some sushi I'll let you later I'm out Oh, and don't forget, the pull-up was also the number one exercise for biceps, if you watch my other video. It was the number one for biceps, and it was in the top three for abs, believe it or not. So, once again, you have an all-around exercise right there, right? Add chance to your routine. Go for it.